Hey guys, Spider Waffle here. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Nopu Coke Mini keyboard I recently purchased. Uh, I don't believe you can get this anywhere in North America, so I had to go through an online realtor who's located in China. His name is Qtan, and I'd highly recommend going through him if you are thinking of purchasing this keyboard. Um, I can provide his link in the comments section. Uh, it came from China in I think six days, which is really nice considering it wasn't any special airmail or anything. Um, one thing I would comment though is the FedEx may have not been the best choice of deliver. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but some of the corners kind of got smashed a bit here in delivering, so it had had a rough voyage over from Asia. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's check out the box a little bit here. It's got some nice flavorful comments here it's kind of funny kind of talks about the specs a bit um on the back it's got some more more stuff like that uh and the sticker labeling what kind of cherry mx switches you got i went with the red which i'd recommend if you're especially if you're going to be gaming um it's the same as the black in that it's linear no uh tactical feel but uh has less pressure so it's can, most people report they can type faster with the reds and especially if you're going to be gaming and doing any sort of double tapping kind of stuff. Uh, let's open this sucker up. Slide out this tab. I like it when things are easy to open. Slide this out. pretty hefty for the size. I think it weighs one pound, ten ounces or something. Um, as you can see, I went with the white. It's uh, in PST plastic. It's it's a heavier, better plastic than uh, ABS or even Palm. Uh, the black one, I believe, uses Palm, but not too big a difference. Uh, it's got a nice little bubble wrap casing on here, all these bubbles seem to be intact still. Um, let's see here, got a little card, uh, it says some stuff in kanji, can't really read that, maybe if my girlfriend was here. Uh, here's the keyboard, so very simple packaging and everything nothing too fancy got the keys yep these are red switches lighter pressure than the blacks or yeah the mx blacks uh it's got little lights on some of the buttons you know what you're pressing if it's activated or not it only uses 84 keys, very small, compact design. It still has um, full keyboard functionality. You can use the function keys here and everything. Activate uh, numpad keys here if you need to. This way you can get more mouse pad space on the right side. Uh, I think this is uh, referred to as like a 75% or 80% keyboard. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you over here so you can see this compared with the SteelSeries 6G V2. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. Got an extra six inches or so here. So you can move that mouse pad over. Easier turning, more, more space to move with your mouse will be nice. Um, let's focus in here. So here's the uh, Steel Series 6GV2. Those are it uses uh, black switches, which are the same as the red, but they're slightly higher pressure. I think it's uh, 55 grams. And the red switches, yeah, you can see it's easier to press. These are only 45 grams, so it's much easier to press these. Um, I'll be doing a comparison between the, the Nopu, the 6G V2, and the Black Widow in my next video.
and I'm going to be adding these uh, O-rings to uh, dampen the keys and also shorten the travel distance. It cuts it pretty much in half, which uh, should help you type faster, as most people report, and it'll be uh, quieter. You won't bottom out on that hard plastic. So yeah, this has been an uh, unboxing and review of the Nupu Coke Mini Keyboard. Um, Spire Waffle signing out. Thanks.